Hola, welcome to Terra Mio Amor on the beach edition. This uh, is for Libras, our Libra friends, and uh, we're going to do now our heart spread. Every Thursday we do Libra and Scorpio, the singles and heart spread. And this is your heart spread now. Um, already shuffle, put a little energy on them. I say this just reads whoever's in your heart. So if you, uh, it doesn't matter if you're with them or not with them, it's going to pick up who you're thinking of. That's all. And this is you. Very nice. Nine of Pentacles. So this is a great way to go into a relationship, guys. Um, bear with me a minute. I should have done this. Might need some more of my glass beads for the wind here. Um, and um, great energy to go in a relationship with Nine of Pentacles. Maybe the best, you know. Um, the happy bachelor, right? Self-contained. You don't need anyone. You're all right by yourself. You can feed yourself. Or self-content, you know. So when you see this, you know, but maybe whatever relationship we're talking about here, um, maybe, um, you know, you didn't exactly ask for it. Maybe you weren't out on dating sites and it just came along because you were content and all. Look at this, your person. Okay. Th this reads kind of, I want to read sort of the energy of you and them, how you are around relationships right now. And detach it a little bit from your relationship but with the ace of cups you know it as I is the opposite they were saying maybe you weren't even looking this someone's looking for love okay think what that is gonna be there um, your partner and could imply that they're into you though let's see this is your advice I mean this is you once you get into your relationship not the advice death that's how you're feeling I said this is a little bit detached the nine of Pentacles uh, from the relationship. Well, this is you how you feel once you get in death. Let's think about that Wow and ten of swords. I just held the ten of swords and death up a minute ago in another reading <laughs> um, During the quickies and said, you know, they're both death, you know, but uh, this implies when they're together uh, that some that your manifestation or your transformations over um, so I don't know, uh, if both of you are feeling like this in the relationship, you know, we really look at this. This is important. This is how both of you are feeling. And if both of you are feeling uh, like you're in this energy, now your person here could just be, and this is them in the relationship. So this is not a ten of swords about some past shit that hurt them. This is like you hurt them. Being in the relationship hurts them. And um, with that, they might be feeling like it's enough, like they've had enough. And with death here, nature of con and how you are in the relationship, I have to use the term soulmate hit job. You know, we get drawn into these things and they hurt us, but, you know, it's for a reason. Our souls grow and we're probably connected, so that's why I say it's a hit job. Probably contracted before. Um, we came here, you know, knowing because they really love with you and, and they're part of your soul family. They're like, you know, hey, if someone's got to hurt them, let me do it. It's kind of my fantasy of how it might work. And the two of Pentacles. This is your advice. This is your advice in the relationship. Two of Pentacles. Let's look at their advice and their relationship is the two of wands. Holy shit, guys. What is going on with you guys? Let me think about this a minute. Um, Nine of Pentacles. You know, just because there's a heart spread and there's someone on your mind doesn't mean it's going to work. I'm going to see here. We're going to do the uh, advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. This is your advice. This is your partner's advice. And then the outcome. Um... What could possibly come out of this? It's going to have to transform. Um, two of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Their advice is clearly to move on and look for something else, I think. And with yours to Two of Pentacles, it's more about, I think maybe be steady. Try to steady yourself like you're a little out of balance and you want to get back in alignment and balance, you know. Um, maybe, like I said, a soulmate hit job. Maybe 
maybe for you this relationship um, and I do astrology too and a lot of like counseling about like relationships using the astrology and the transits and progress to really look at what's going on uh, what I see here maybe we'll see what we got uh, your person was just hurt and so they go away from this relationship just really hurt and wounded but you go away having transformed and so I, I was talking to someone the other day and they were taking notes you know about and I told them at one point after like an hour I said do you know your partner ex-partner they're, they're not uh, talking to someone taking notes trying to own the relationship trying to have closure trying to have understanding trying to bring you know wisdom to it trying to take it to a high vibrational level they're just now drunk and with someone else and partying and they just think it was a shit show or something whatever and i said but here you are doing the the work that's what we're here to do that kind of work and it's now we're not here to work at fucking walmart <laughs> so now um you got the hanged man this is your advice in a relationship that's a little odd okay i'm gonna think about this a minute too Hanged man as advice for the relationship. I'm trying to see if there's some way forward. If this two of pentacles and the two of wands would imply that in any way, might you be, what is the hanged man with the nine of swords? So I wanted to clarify the hanged man here. The nine of, with the eight of swords, even worse. Um, so let's see, this is what the outcome is. And the page of cups, and that's weak. That is a weak outcome for a love reading. Um, that's kind of how you want to start a love relationship. All right, I gotta say, I stay, I hate to do it. But when it doesn't work with the heart spread, I shift the advice to you because you're watching. If you're the cross watcher, I guess the advice is for you. It's for whoever's watching. Because I think what it's saying here is what this is literally saying is like, okay, you can give this a lot of time. You can try to give it time and maybe uh, let it heal, something like that. Um, but you're, it's still going to be in this Eight of Swords energy. You know, this what you guys just don't work together here. This reading, this is your reading. Um, it just doesn't work, Libra. And with the Page of Cups as the outcome, I got to think um, this is either you or someone else. Now, because they're being asked to go look. So you know Cross Watcher for sure if you're watching. This is you or someone else bringing in another cup of love. And I think it's the same thing for you. Your advice now, remember, is to kind of like get yourself back in balance, kind of recover from whatever happened with you guys. And to move away from this, to give yourself some time because you're hurt. Give yourself some time. And then in the future, we're going to have this Page of Cups coming in here. And with the Page of Cups as an outcome, um, I, in a way I like it because it's appropriate if it's something new. So you're going to have a new offer come in. It's going to be sincere and genuine. Uh, it could be a younger water sign. You could read it that way. And I don't think this is going to be real fast. You know, you've got the Eight of Swords here. Maybe we're talking about eight weeks from now. Some period, a couple months from now. Because you might need that time here with the Hanged Man um, to kind of get over this. But I don't think going back to them is the way to go. And that's not what this is saying. Move on, give it time, and eventually, even though it might not seem like it now, uh, your heart will open back up, and you'll be able to accept a page of cups, which is just like, wow, I really like you. I want to get to know you better. Hey, I want to take you out on a date. Let's go uh, somewhere. Uh, page of cups energy, and you'll be back in the game, Libra. That's how I see that. Let me know. Like helps a lot. It's easy. Good karma, too. And um, subscribe. We're doing two signs a day, plus the quickies every day. And Fridays we do the weekend quickies. Thank you, guys.